Hey, Master Gardeners, here we are in Maryland. It's now the middle of the day. We're in mid-June, and the cicadas are singing. I have some large 50-year-old maples on the property here. Cicadas are flying all around. My females have been mating for about the last seven days, maybe, yeah, about seven days. And they're laying eggs on behind me. This is a cornus alternifolia. We just call it alternate dogwood. And there's a native spice bush next to it, Lindira benzoin. And they've been busy laying eggs and huh, damaging my shrubs. You know, they are feeders on the stem. They are consuming some of the sap inside, but that's not the damaging aspect of their life cycle. It's really in the egg laying that's gonna cause the flagging that we're gonna zoom in and look at. And plus I have my microscope set up over here. So we're gonna go in and look and see what the eggs look like. Cause I cut them out with my razor blade. And so we're gonna be able to look at them. Come on over and let's look at the, let's look at the damage. So this is what you, will be seeing on your shrubs this cracking that occurs. The stems break because she's laid eggs in a rather fragile part of the stem and then the wind is blown and it's cracked it off. So the word for that is flagging and that's gonna turn brown in the next 24 hours or a little more than that. So that's what we see. Now here's one right here. There's one of them. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I guess we could touch him and see. Is it in focus? No, it's not focusing. Aha, you can see it's a girl. See the ovipositor? She's one of the culprits laying the eggs. So what I don't find is they don't lay eggs on these green stems because that's obviously not adequate amount of fluid. But look at this stem where they have laid eggs up and down inside of that. This is the cornus alternifolia. See this slit, slit, slit? Like every quarter of an inch, there's a new slit. Up here, you can even see the the little splinters that stick out as she's laid her eggs. There's a little splintering effect that occurs. And that's what I've done. I've taken the razor blade and I've broken one of these off and I've uh, examined down inside of it. And I found some eggs, eggs that are laying in rows. So I'm not gonna do anything about this shrub as these stems start to flag. I'm gonna come in and make proper pruning slit, um, cuts along here, but I'm just gonna wait and see where my damage is occurring, it's not gonna hurt the long-term health of the tree because the truth is it's been in the ground for 15 years. So let's look at my microscope. Here's, so I got it set up here. Now, can you see the li line of eggs? Here's a layer of eggs. I put this blue Sharpie marker in there so that you were able to look near where they are. So here's an egg right here. Here's another egg and they're all laid in line. There's one that's a little bit easier to see. Now let me, here's my microscope, my little diner light. Let's scoot over and let's look at the other one. This one you can see the single little egg in a little bit easier. Let me get it under there, get it focused. Oh, and there, can you see? There's two of them laying right there. See my two little baby, see my eggs? That's my pin, there's one egg. So a little rice size. So these guys haven't hatched yet. They're just in the egg form. It's gonna, they're gonna be another month away before they hatch. And there's the stems that we're looking at. I zoomed in on these, there you can see the blue marker. So I'll go back over here. Let's look at the little groupie again. See if I can focus it in any better for you. Yeah, there you go. See them all? See them all in lines there, little eggs. She can lay as many as 40 in each one of these slits. So we're gonna have a lot of baby cicadas in 17 years from now, and I'm sure I'm not gonna be here. How about you?